Hi, Nate, and I want to go over this idea that's taught in a lot of business and economic classes, but you can relate to, to real life all the time, and then we're going to funnel it and uh, drill down a little bit further to mental and physical health. And the idea is this opportunity cost, right? Uh, in the business and economic side of things, it's saying if you run a business and you have $100,000 for marketing, if you spend $100,000 on marketing, you can't spend that on equipment. Right, so opportunity cost could be financial. It could also be time investment, right? If I'm gonna spend time making this video for my business, I don't have time to work out, right? But let's relate that uh, away from business and economics to, to real life for most people that are not running a business from day to day. Let's talk about mental health and physical health. So we have these opportunity costs, right? And the opportunity cost of, we'll say, uh, being around negative people right what is the opportunity cost of that right so if we work in an environment or maybe our family environment is not pushing us to do better or be better we have to find a way to find a new new group of people to be around maybe it's a new career maybe it's uh, I talked about this the other day a new third place somewhere where there's men and women that are going to help you go in the right direction because the opportunity cost of that is is time and your mental health right so if the peer group you're around is not pushing you or directing you or helping you grow the opportunity loss is massive it's really really massive right so that's a mental health one right finding those men and women that will support and push you in the right direction your physical health right this is a really big one right i want to eat and drink everything, right? I want to have this really big, giant, all-encompassing, broad spectrum of foods that I can eat, everything that I can. Well, I hate to break it to you. The men and women that look and actually are healthy, the vast majority of the time, right? I can't say everybody, but the vast majority of men and women with a healthy body composition that walk around with their shoulders back and, and, and have that self-esteem, they don't eat everything. That means, number one, the quantity of everything in front of them. And number two, everything from A to Z. If you were to drill down and look from the top down at men and women that generally have a healthy body composition, you're going to realize that they probably pick from like 20 to 30 foods 90% of the time, right? The opportunity to eat every single thing around you, high sugar, lots of alcohol consumption, all these different things, um, excessive caloric intake, you are losing the opportunity to be healthier, to be happier, right? We know that if you feel better about yourself, your self-esteem is higher. Well, if we're carrying 15, 20, 30, 50, 100 pounds of extra body weight, we're not going to be feeling that way. So the opportunity cost is, yeah, you're right. You could eat everything that's around you all time of the day, no rules, no regulations, the wild rest, but what opportunity did you lose? You have to give something up to gain something. That's the whole idea of this opportunity cost is that you can't have it all, right? Maybe you've been told that you can have it all. Really, really difficult, right? Um, so it boils down to what do you want? What are your goals? What do you want? What are those goals? What is the driving force behind this? And then what are you willing to give up to hit those goals? Is it time, energy, money? Is it the uh, social circle that you have, right? If you surround yourself with men and women that maybe aren't super healthy, the likelihood of them pushing you to be super healthy is very low. So maybe find where the super healthy people are. And that's just not physically that's also mentally. But again, you can't have it all. You can't have past behaviors, actions, and habits that didn't elicit the response you wanted and do more of the same and expect something different. There's an opportunity cost, right? What are you going to give up to get to here? If you don't give up anything, you don't change anything, you won't get to here. Have a great day, my friends. Honest self-reflection for the win. What do I need to change to get to where I want to be? Have an amazing day.